she really has to do, which is connecting with voters. What would you tell her? Well, Jenna, I think she does that beautifully. And if Hillary will just be Hillary, um, and if we will all allow her to just be the really extraordinary leader that she is, uh, her campaign is going to be beautifully, beautifully done. Well, she's smart. She knows the issues. She's probably one of the most experienced people to ever run uh, for the office of president. And as Debbie said, while Washington might be focused on the nuts and bolts of a campaign and how Iowa, New Hampshire, and the ins and outs, voters are really focused on the future. They want a leader that they can count on to deliver for them, to represent them, to, you know, to deliver on their hopes and dreams for the American dream. And while the recovery has been you know, very robust under Democratic leadership in the White House, um, we've got to go forward. Not everyone has come out of that, and important jobs right. Uh, need to be created. And I think that Secretary Clinton, and there's a nice ring to President Hillary Clinton, can really bring that hope and that aspiration to the American people. And Senator Stabenow, what Senator Landry just said about yes. uh, needing to have a candidate for the future, that seems to be part of the problem that she's having with the liberal base. They don't see her as the future. They see her as the past. And ironically, they see uh, many of them, your colleague in the Senate, Elizabeth Warren, as somebody who really fires up them up and stands for liberal ideals. Why is that? Why is that not Hillary Clinton's area that she's that she's doing well in? Well, Dana, first of all, Elizabeth is terrific, and Hillary and Elizabeth and I and all of us, Mary, when she was do doing a terrific job in the Senate, all understand it's very much about the future. I have to say, electing the first woman president would certainly be a big step in the future. And Hillary is also part of a special new club I'm proud to be a part of. Mary uh, is as well called the Grandma's Club. And I have to tell you, once you have that first grandchild, you know, I'll, I'll never forget 2007 in the middle of an incredibly hectic campaign. Hillary took the time from her campaign train to call me, say congratulations because my granddaughter was born. And I was proud to say I got there before she did. But the truth is that once you hold that baby, you are all about the future. So I have absolutely no doubt in my mind. She's doubling down like I have, like Mary has. It's about what's going to be there for our grandkids. You know, on that point, uh, the grandmother issue, running as a woman, as Senator Stabenow just talked about, particularly the female issue, she didn't do that so much the last time around. She sort of shied away from it, and her aides are saying this time she's not only not going to shy away from the woman card, she's going to play it up and, and make a point that this would be historic to have a first female president. Should she be doing that? I think all leaders are well advised to be who they are. She is a woman. There is no doubt about that. She makes many women and men proud. She's really been a remarkable leader for women, not just in the United States and people but all around the world and you know 